Hi, my name is Lisa and I'm the Viet Vegan and I'm a brand ambassador for Produce Made Simple. We're here to inspire you to eat more fruits and vegetables. And today we're doing that with some potato fried rice. It is super delicious, very budget friendly and very easy, especially if you have day old rice already. Um, you can use fresh rice, but it's better when it's a little bit drier and from like the day before, it's perfect for frying rice. So you're gonna start off peeling your Ontario potatoes. You can use a yellow potato or a waxy red or white would be really good as well. We kind of want them to keep their shape. You're gonna peel your potatoes and then slice them really thin into matchsticks and then mince again into really small pieces. You want the potatoes to be the same size as your rice. You're gonna do the same thing with your Ontario onions and just keep mincing them. It might take a little while, but it's worth it in the end. In a large wok, heat two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Add the minced onion and cook until translucent. Add the minced potato and cook until the potato is tender. You can taste a check. This should take about five minutes depending on how finely you mince the potatoes. If you find that the vegetables are sticking to the pan, deglaze with a few tablespoons of water or vegetable broth. Once the potatoes are cooked through, add the day-old cooked rice. Stir fry and ensure that the rice is broken up so there's no clumps. Make sure it's mixed well with the potato and onion mixture. Add about one tablespoon of soy sauce to season. Continue to fry until the potato has started to brown and crisp up in the cooking. If you find that the rice is too dry, add a couple tablespoons of water or vegetable broth to rehydrate. Once everything is cooked through and you have some nice browning, turn over onto a large plate and gently spread out the fried rice. Serve with ketchup drizzled evenly on top, or to make it a bit spicy, combine gochujang and ketchup and mix well, then drizzle that evenly over the rice. And there you have it. It's super easy and it's super simple, so let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh my god, that's so good. Especially with the gochujang, it adds a little bit of spice. If you can't handle spice, leave it out, just do ketchup. It is so good. The link to the recipe will be in the description down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more produce made simple. Thanks for watching.